Cats and water have the chemistry of oil and vinegar, utterly incompatible yet strangely fascinating. Cats evolved to be desert-dwelling marvels, perfect fountains of dry elegance. Suggest they dip a paw into anything wetter than a damp leaf, and they react as though you've offended centuries of feline pride. Science, in all its majestic wisdom, tells us this isn't personal, your cat just has a date with dryness. Around 10,000 years ago, wild cats lounged in arid climes, where streams were suspicious anomalies rather than leisure zones. Their fur adapted to repel moisture, because why waste precious grooming hours on soggy fur when there are dust bunnies to hunt? Over millennia, natural selection favored those who dodged the drippy stuff, refining the feline brand of fastidiousness. So when Fluffy hisses at the sight of your bathtub, she's really honoring her ancestral survival manual. Peel back that luxurious coat and you find a hydrophobic fortress at work. Cat hair is coated in natural oils that shun water like a spinster avoids small talk, keeping them insulated and buoyant, if they ever cared to swim. When soaked, their fur clumps into waterlogged dreadlocks that sap body heat faster than you can shout, kitten rescue. Thus, their internal thermometer shrieks in protest, declaring every dip a sub-zero catastrophe. Behavioral science then waltzes in to confirm what we all suspect, cats remember trauma. One reluctant paw dunked in a rubber dish might as well be recorded in the great book of feline vengeance. Slippery surfaces amplify the horror, transforming a harmless puddle into a treacherous ice rink worthy of its own horror score. Every splash etches a cautionary legend in their brains, ensuring your kitty treats water like a villainous sea monster. So there we have it. A blend of evolution, fur physics, and bitter personal history that cements cat's water phobia as a triumph of science. Next time your cat vaults onto the counter at bath time, appreciate that you're witnessing the culmination of thousands of years of anti-aquatic mastery. In the grand scheme of things, it's less about saying, no, to baths and more a declaration of feline sovereignty. And who are we to argue with science, and pure, unadulterated sass?